Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how many shares you need in the stock to make a hundred dollars in dividends every single month. That's right, guys. I'm going to let you guys know that in this video. That's right, guys. So as you guys see, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make $100 in dividends every single month. How much money you're going to need investing inside these certain companies. Now, if I had to start over all over again, I would do this a completely different way. I would invest into dividend aristocrats and most definitely invest into dividend kings. And guess what, guys? One of my favorite companies inside the stock market just became a dividend king. Wait, what is a dividend king? Let me explain it to you guys. First of all, a dividend aristocrat is any company that's inside the S&P 500 and have increased their dividends over the last 25 years. That's right. They've been increasing their dividends longer than some of you guys have even been alive. Now, a dividend king is also a company that's inside the S&P 500 and have been increasing their dividend payments for the last 50 years years guys that's as longer than most of us have even been alive that's watching this video and if you clicked on this video and don't know what dividends are dividends is by far the most passive income that there is out there i mean you literally wake up and make money by doing absolutely nothing um dividends is when a company pay back their shareholders just for owning shares of that company as a way to say hey thank you for owning a part of our company and they are hoping that you reinvest your dividends back into that company to help the company grow even further but some people like to take those dividends and live off their dividends and i'm building a dividend portfolio right now that hopefully i can live off of in the future and i'm telling you guys i've been dividend investing for a while and if i was to start over again i'm going to show you guys the two dividends one is a dividend aristocrat and one is a dividend king that could have me retire quicker than i would have if i would be um working inside the industry putting it inside of a retirement account or a savings account so make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel right now go ahead scroll down hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and stay to the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this crucial information all right and before we dive into it if you guys want to pick up some free shares i'm gonna leave a link down to mumu and a link down to weeble down in the description you sign up deposit any amount of money inside weeble you receive up to 12 free stocks and if you deposit a hundred dollars into mumu you can receive up to 20 free stocks so if you want to head start and hopefully pick up some dividend stocks, check out those links down in the description. It's literally free money. You could keep those shares inside of your account and use it, or you could sell those shares and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Do not miss out on this amazing end of the year opportunity. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on the first one. This is my dividend aristocrat. Aristocrat is when you have increased your dividends over the last 25 years. This is Realty Income, ticker symbol O. This is known as the monthly paying dividend stock. It is a real estate REIT. Uh, real estate REITs are required to pay back 90% of their taxable income back in the form of dividends to their investor. That's why a lot of people love investing into real estate REITs. And ticker symbol O, Realty Income is known in the investing world as the monthly paying dividend stock. That means they pay out their dividends to their investors every single month not every dividend company pays out every single month there are monthly paying dividend stocks and there are quarterly paying dividend stocks but this one right here pays out their dividends every single month that means you will receive a payment from them 12 times a year if we scroll down you guys can see my next dividend payment from them it'll be um two dollars and fifty cents and that's just from only 10 shares of realty income like i said if i could do it all over again i would have thousands of shares of realty income so i'm trying to give you guys some game i'm trying to give you guys some knowledge on um, realty income they have a dividend yield of around 4.69 percent now, before I move over and tell you guys exactly how many shares of realty income you need to own in order to make $1,200 a year, $100 a month in dividends from this monthly paying dividend stock, let's move over to huh, by far my favorite dividend king that just, just became a dividend king, and that is PepsiCo. Now, here we are on PepsiCo. PepsiCo just became dividend kings they have um last year they would increase their dividends every single year for the last 49 years and this year pepsi just um raised their dividends again and now they have increased their dividend payments for the last 50 years just now making them a part of the dividend king club so i do not see them cutting their dividends anytime soon especially since they have been 
um, performing very well over the last five years. They're up 56%. In fact, uh, my next dividend payment is going to be on January 6, 2023 for $2.30. And I own two shares. Once again, if I could start all over again, I will own hundreds of shares of PepsiCo. I'm going to show you guys exactly why in a second. So don't click off this video because I'm going to show you guys exactly how much money you need in both PepsiCo and in Tickle Simba O because it is a major difference and I don't want to get you guys discouraged because I'm going to show you a little trick that can help you get to that um, $1,200 a year in dividends even quicker. So yeah, it, uh, it'll help you get there a lot quicker. But um, right there, you guys can see I'm up 26% um, in PepsiCo and I have a dividend yield of 2.4%. So that is a huge difference compared to the price because um, the price of PepsiCo is $183.12. So let's go ahead and figure out exactly how many shares and how much it will cost for us to make $100 a month or $1,200 a year in dividends from each of these companies. And then at the end, of, and then right after that, I'm going to show you guys a very simple trick on uh, how if you use this trick, you will have millions of dollars and you will have a cash flow of passive income in the form of dividends if you just stick to this simple strategy. Okay, guys, here we go. I just put up a chart from Seeking Alpha. As you guys can see right here, they have a dividend growth of 50 years. And over the last five years, they had a growth rate of 7.39% probably being out inflation. So as you guys can see, they have a dividend yield of 2.48%. The larger the dividend yield, the more they pay out. But at the end of the day, they're paying out $4.60 for every one share that you own of PepsiCo. So let me show you guys right quick. Oh, once again, they are a quarterly paying dividend stock. So right there, they're gonna pay out $4.60 for every share that you own of PepsiCo. So if we pull up our calculator, we type in, we wanna make $1,200 a year in dividends. We wanna divide that by $4.60. So you're gonna need 260 shares of PepsiCo in order to make $100 or $1,200 a year. And then you want to multiply that by the price of $183.12. So that's gonna cost us $47,770 to make $1,200 a year in dividends from PepsiCo. But hold on guys, I know you're saying $47,000 is a lot of money, but I'm gonna show you a very simple strategy to help you get there in no time at all, guys, especially if you're gonna be long-term investors. But let me go ahead and pull up ticker symbol O so I can show you guys uh, how much it would cost to invest in to a company that has, that has a little bit of a higher dividend yield. Okay, here we are, Realty Income. As you guys can see, dividend growth was uh, 25 years. Their five-year growth rate is not as big as PepsiCo, but they have increased their dividends over the last 25 years, making them dividend aristocrats. And they have a, they are a monthly paying dividend stock with a 4.73 dividend yield. So they're paying out $2.98. So let's do $1,200 divided by $2.98. So you're gonna need 402 shares and the price of realty income right now is $62.24. So you need around $25,000, almost half the price of PepsiCo because they have a higher dividend yield in order to make $1,200 a year. So let me show you guys right now that stay to the end of this video exactly how you can make this possible very, very easily and affordable. Okay, so here we're on the portfolio visualizer. Let's say we started investing in two in the year 2000, right? And we just started off with $1,000 and our cash flow is going to be investing just $200 every single week into the stock market or that's gonna be $800 a month right there. So if you can find any kind of way to make an extra $200 a week, get a higher paying job, start a side hustle, just any way to where you can invest the extra $800 a month or $200 a week into the stock market, you can make this strategy work for you and you will have millions of dollars. Let's go ahead and scroll down. And here's the trick Now I'm gonna tell you guys, you need to reinvest your dividends for the first couple of years, for the first couple of months. Reinvest your dividends back into these companies. So now you're gonna have more shares of these companies. It's the compound interest effect. That is the eighth wonder of the world. It's compound, it's compound interest. With compound interest, the snowball effect will start off very small. And then the snowball, by the time you hit the bottom of the hill, will be very, 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 very large. And then once the ball rolling, it's rolling and it can't stop. So you want to reinvest your dividends at the beginning of the year, guys. So here we go. Let's say we're starting off with PepsiCo right here. 
and 100 percent of our portfolio is pepsico so let's hit analyze our portfolio uh from if we started investing from the year 2000 to 2022 we would have a final balance of over one million dollars i told you guys you would have a million dollars and that's just from investing 200 dollars a week over the last 20 years now i know you're saying how long would it take me to make 1200 dollars well right here in 2001 200 dollars and it would take us approximately just one two three four five just six years to make twelve hundred dollars in dividends from Pepsi Co. just six years if six years is too long for you then you might not want to become an investor you might want to become a trader if six years is too long for you because a lot of investors like to invest over the next 30 years and just this is just 20 years to where at the 20 year mark and you will have passive income of over twenty two thousand nine hundred seventy five dollars just by doing nothing at all and with the higher dividend income here we go with tick and symbol oh this is why this is one of my favorite um this is why this is one of my favorite real estate REITs and dividend aristocrats I would invest into if I could start all over. Over the last 20 years, you will have even more money than PepsiCo. You will have $1.3 million inside your account just from investing over the last um, 20 years. And if we scroll down to the dividend income, it would take you one year. Just one year of investing $200 a, a week or $800 a month into ticker symbol O in order for you to um, have over $100 in dividends every single month. Now, if one year is too long for you, if one year is too long for you, I don't know what to tell you. You might want to become a Forex trader or something like that if one year is too long for you. But as you guys can see, over the last 20 years, um, PepsiCo, you, you have $22,975 coming in. And with took us some old realty income, you will have someone's salary coming in in just 20 years. Just imagine if you invested for 30, 35 years, you will have over 70, 80, $90,000 in dividends coming in from just these two companies alone, if you could invest into, um, if you could invest into good quality dividend aristocrats and dividend kings with, with ticker symbol O, you'll have over $53,000 coming in. And there we go, dreamers. If I had to start all over again, I would tell you guys to invest into a well-established, reliable, company and the easiest way to figure that out is to look for companies that are dividend aristocrats and dividend kings the dividend kings are even safer than the dividend aristocrats because they they've increased their dividends through many multiple recessions and almost depressions and pandemics they've increased their dividends through everything so they're probably not going to cut their dividends anytime soon um, dividend kings are safer than dividend aristocrats if i had to start over and i had to invest into just two dividend paying companies i would pick any company that's a dividend aristocrat and any company that's a dividend king because they are proven that they're going to increase their dividends every single year for the last 25 years or the last 50 years and the ones that i would choose of course would be ticket number O and pepsico those companies have been performing outstandingly well i don't even know if that's a word but i'm gonna stick with it but if you guys do want to pick up some free shares i'm gonna leave a link down in the description to weeble go ahead and pick up those free shares with moomoo as well and if you guys want to know every single time i buy and sell a stock i'm gonna leave a link down into the in the comment section in the pin comment section to my patreon the patreon to take it to my discord i post every single time i buy and sell a stock and we also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day and you'll be a part of a community of of traders that want to be financially free just like you so if you want to be around something like that go ahead and check out that link down in the pinned comment section and while you're down there in the comment section please let me know if any other company any other dividend aristocrat or dividend king please let me know down in the comment section which one would you invest into with tell me tell me which um dividend aristocrat you invest into and what dividend king you would invest into and how much would you have made over the from the year 2000 to the year 2022 let me know which one you have been investing into down in the comment section but other than that guys make sure you subscribe to this channel i got many more videos coming out soon so you don't miss out on any crucial information if you made to end this video you're a real one go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to show extra love and support but other than that i'm zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace